Hey guys, today's iMac is a 22 to 11 comma 3. We're going to upgrade the graphics card to an NVIDIA K3100 Quadro MXMB card. This will also add support for Mojave and Catalina. And we're going to have to do a few heatsink mods. So, let's get into it. So, which heatsink do I need? The first heatsink on the left is for MXMA cards, and the two on the right are for MXMB cards. So here you'll see a MXMA and an MXMB. The A is on top and the B is on bottom. So if you have an MXMA heatsink like this one, um, there's just no way you can modify this at all to fit a B card, and I wouldn't risk it at all. So you're going to have to eBay to try and find one of these three pipe heat sink cards that will fit an MXMB or at least a two pipe that will fit an MXMB um, because there's just no way you can do it otherwise without wrecking your computer. So here's my modified MXMB two pipe card. Very rough I know, um, but I just wanted to see if I could do it with this using my angle grinder. Um, to fit these two points in to the heatsink. Now, I know this is not the finest craftsmanship you've ever seen by any means, but it comes together quite nicely. Uh, you can see it fits together there. You throw a bit of thermal paste on there and put it back into your iMac. Um, it's a bit of a regular and a jiggle act, but once it's in there, it's generally pretty good. Um, and there's only three screws on the motherboard right where my hand is now and there's uh, one up on the top right hand side of the heatsink above the CD drive, uh, DVD drive. So, bit of a wriggle and jiggle. Now, the thermal sensor needs to go back in because if you don't do it, it may or may not boot and it can stuff you around and by the time you put the screen in and out a bunch of times, it's just worth putting it back in instead of, you know, trying to half ass it. So get those screws back in there, throw the thermal sensor in and, and you're off and then reboot the system. So I had already installed Catalina using the legacy drivers from the DOS Dude Patcher. So I wanted to see what this would be like and this is sort of what I got. Yeah, bit of a problem. So it booted fine but bit of a problem with the legacy driver, I didn't like it. So I had to reinstall the system again. system and first boot I went back into the setup um, and I installed the post install patches um, I disabled the legacy video patch there and I also disabled the legacy Wi-Fi patch because originally I didn't install it at all and the Wi-Fi worked for some reason um, but then when I booted up after this, it didn't work, so I had to reinstall that, but that's easy. It's easier to reinstall it. So, I know in this video I didn't show the flashing, but you don't really need to see me do it. If, if you want to see a really good video about using the, um, the Linux method to flash your new GPU, um, go over to Curtis Gross, Gross? Uh, sorry if I'm saying your name wrong man, but go to go to his videos. That, that's what helped me. It, it's a really helpful video. Go watch his video about how to flash it and it's it's simple as. And then this was just sort of um, more the troubleshooting part at the end. So by this time, there you go, look at that. Flashed and working. Let's drag some drag this window around. Yay! And that's it, fully working system. So, one of the other things you got to watch out for with the K3100M cards is is the ROMs and the variants of the BIOS chips. So, originally when I flashed some of these cards, the the ROM didn't account for the different um, memory variants. 
So there's uh, the AFR and the two BFR versions. Uh, they have different voltages. Um, these cards are quite flashable. Um, you just have to have the right ROM to do it, and they'll work fine. If you don't, if you, if you end up using one of the older ROM versions, you'll only get a white screen at boot, and then if you get past the white screen, you get a black screen, and you can turn the volume up and down. You can hear things clicking around in the background, but you can't see anything on the screen because that ROM just doesn't work for these specific cards. So another thing you've also got to watch out for is some of these video biases, uh, the chips are only one megabytes. So you can't flash those with these ROMs because they're about two megabytes. So the only way to get around that is to find the right two megabyte video BIOS or you remove the uh, one megabyte BIOS chips and replace it with a two megabyte one. Um, which can be pretty hard like I've tried it and I've killed a few cards and I've been successful with a few cards but it's definitely easier just to find the one with the right BIOS chip to flash um, unless you're a highly skilled um, reflowing soldering person uh, with those kind of skills which I'm not um, but it was worth a stab at it so just just be mindful uh, when you find these 3100 cards uh, all the different variants so on the screen here you can see um, the different memory chips that were used for the DDR5s um, and you can also buy the um, replacement BIOS chips off eBay quite cheap um, but head over to the Mac Rumors uh, forums and there's a lot of information about that as long as you do your research you can't go wrong because um, I definitely just sort of walked into it and tried to just do it. So do a bit of research. And so one of the main reasons I made this video is just so you can see that yes, it works. You can get Catalina on a 2010 iMac 11.3 um, and like it's just a, an amazing community of people at Mac Rumors uh, making ROMs and, and people out there showing other people how to do it. So this is just just to show that you can do it and you know the right to repair people should be able to repair their computers and and upgrade to the later systems and as much as I love Apple computers they they continually screw us over as customers so it's, it's doable and it's doable as a person that's not even um, you don't have to be too tech savvy really so just 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 watch all the videos in the community people helping people uh, and that's the end of this video.